where I spent two and a half years in submarines in World War II. Became a naval aviator thereafter, went up the carrier route, uh, culminating in command of one of our big carriers. In combination with uh, the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Tom Moore, uh, we uh, agreed to uh, be part of what is really an informal association. And one of the witnesses that was not able to testify in that first press conference was Captain Mundo. He had been a TWA captain with, I think, at least 3,000 hours of experience or more in the 747. He knew that airplane. He had flown as the flight engineer from that from Athens to Kennedy before that airplane took off a few hours later. As part of his duty was to adjust the fuel throughout the aircraft. They used the center wing tank. It has a sump pump, and he used that sump pump to take out any residual uh, jet fuel and any water that's present, as there always is some water present, and that's why they have the sump pumps. And then they took off three hours later, about, from Kennedy in another cross ocean flight. And I asked Captain Mundo, you telling us here that you evacuated that tank, why was it not filled in the next flight? He said, because instead of going as far as Athens, they were only going to Paris and they didn't need it. Consequently, we know that tank was empty. Well, that means it had a thimbleful of kerosene or the equivalent vapor. This is a huge tank. What's bigger than this room, literally? And there's no way that you can ignite a thimbleful of kerosene and blow off the left wing of the strongest airplane ever built. As we know a missile brought the aircraft down. Cigarette boat, a very high-speed, small boat, uh, could easily go from the spot where they launched the missile uh, at, at roughly 30 knots, get out to sea, be picked up by a mothership, sink it, and be gone. That's an example. It's just an example. We want to have some of the questions answered that have been asked, that have never been properly answered. In what form? Well, uh, we have spelled all along that it could only come about uh, with a formal congressional hearing where people were put under oath.